howdy peeps and welcome back to the uh, Edward Spitfire build series uh, first thing I did a dumb thing and I threw the box away so we can't have the <coughs> box shot at the start I had a clear up in the cave the other day and I got a bit carried away and threw away a boatload of stuff um, so that's that and secondly I got a bit carried away I know I said I would just mask off the white and no, the other colours well I've masked them and painted them and anyway we all know how to stick masking tape on and you know, if you're using an airbrush you know how to point it and pull the trigger so what's next right you may be looking at it and thinking Ah, gloss coat and decals. As what I'm thinking is decals. I'm not going to gloss coat. I tend not to anymore. I find if you've got a decent paint finish, uh, a good smooth, flat, level paint finish, you don't need the gloss. It doesn't really help that as much. Now, make a bit of room. Tools we will need for decaling. Instructions, so we know where to put them and which ones. Just clear a bit more space so I can get them down there. Tweezers, scalpel or scissors, depending on which you prefer. A cocktail stick and maybe a couple of cotton wool buds. And then our decal solutions. Now, I and quite a few other people went and got the Derwent uh, water brushes, and these are good for holding and they're certainly yeah, useful, but they aren't airtight or hermetic or anything like that. So, what we have found is that over a prolonged period of time, the decal solutions can lose their potency. So what I've done is tipped out what was in there, well not in the number one which is the micro set because that's basically vinegar, <laughs> but the two which is the micro sol and the three which is the solver set, I got rid of what was in there and just put a little bit in, just so it doesn't go off really. And then finally and uh, most importantly some water mug of. Now it helps if you have warm water and I know quite a few people of late have switched to using a oh excuse me a bit of food in my mouth still USB coffee warmers which keeps the water around about 40 degrees I haven't got one yet so that's just hot tap water you know you do what you can so oh pardon me Bit windy again today. I well, I say today. I normally am windy. Ooh, it's probably got something to do with the amount of coke I drink. Anyway, let's grab our decals out. And the self-sealing bag has self-sealed rather too well. There we are. two sheets, one sheet of decals, one sheet of stencil data. Now you may think which is the best way around to do these. Start out with the larger decals because sometimes the stencils go on the top of the decals so if you put all the little stencils on first you'll have to put the decals over the top of the stencils and they will just disappear so we'll pop them somewhere safe for now. I would pop them back in the box, but as I've said, oops, threw that away. And we'll start on, where should we start? Should we start on the top with the two roundels? That seems a sensible option. Number one. So, finding them on the decal sheet. 
oh, careful not to actually cut the decal. Being as these are Edouard or I'm not sure Edouard cartograph whether whether they're cartograph decals just label as Edouard or what, but they're pretty good and don't have much, if anything, in the way of carrier film. Let me just chop those. Making sure we keep the decal sheet well away from any water. Give them a quick dunk. Right, this is the way I do it anyway. I just give them a quick dunk in the hot water. And then pop them on the cutting mat. Job done. And while they're soaking, oh, sesame seed. Yep. Yeah, definitely got bits of roll in my teeth. Right. So then if next we go on to the left hand side. Well there's things we can cut these out. We don't have to dunk them. 26, 11 and 5. That is 5. Probably fine because these are good and thin decals. I find that those have already loosened themselves from the backing. So 26, which is the little ace of spades. And if you've got multiple decals that have got the same number, when you cut the first one out, try to leave the the number actually on the backing on the main sheet so you can then find it again. Not such an issue with the larger decals but when you're doing stencils trust me it's a good habit to get into. So that's the three for the back of the fuselage. Are they moving yet? Of course they are. All right. So again, making sure the decal sheet is way out of the way of any liquids. And first, a bit of the micro set is the blue one. Or I always get set and sold the wrong way around. And try to figure out roughly where it goes. It goes in line with the outboard gun. Pop some of that on. Pick the decal up. And then just slide it into position. And it's just a bit in front of there. Somewhere around there, I think. Maybe a little further inboard. Yeah. Add a little, little more sets at the top. Let that cheech for a moment, and repeat the process on the opposite wing. Now, if you notice that your setting solutions are leaving tide marks for want of a better term on the paint or what have you don't worry about it it will disappear when we, we or when you I whoever actually coats over it as I was there will be a gloss coat to seal in the decals once I'm done so I'll leave those and it'll, it'll just disappear under a gloss coat and then obviously you're, you're weathering and then a flat coat at the end so you'll never see it now that's had a chance to work its way in a little gently roll it down
what we're doing is we're squeegeeing out basically any excess decal solution that's underneath it. Again, not such an issue on these larger ones, but that's like there's, there's not exactly a whole load of carrier film on these. And that's already starting to settle into some of the detail. And we'll do the same with this one. So we're happy that we've got the liquid out from underneath, soaked up some of the excess. And on to the second stage, which is the microsol. Give it a little squeeze, get some out. And you don't need to totally drown the decals in the solutions. You can always go back for extra treatments, extra coats as it were, if they're proving a bit truculent and not wanting to conform to the panel lines or rivets or what have you. So we leave that to the side for now and get back to trimming off the side decals. So we've got 5, 11, 26, we want 23, 1 and 24. Right. That's a V. And a 24, which happens to be right next to it, luckily. Now again, not such a problem when you're talking about the larger decals. But what I do tend to do is lay them out on the cutting mat how they go onto the model. Like so. It just helps. And again, not such an issue with big obvious ones but when you've got a bunch of stencils and it's just either a few words or just a little scribble that's supposed to look like writing oh, come here then you know, they're very similar it's easy to get mixed up and turned around so it keeps them in order and if you start so we're doing the top if I was doing the stencils I'd start at the front and work my way around clockwise. Then I'd do one side, then I'd do the other, and same clockwise on the bottom until I was done. And t either tick them off individually as you go, or if I put like doing like a dozen at a time, I'll just cross out the last one I did so that if you had to go away and come back, you remember where you were. It's always a pig having to try and remember how far you got on something. Um, especially with a memory like mine. There are days I swear I'd wake up and forget my own name. As you can see, I'm not exactly dunking them in the water for long. It doesn't take don't have to dump them and leave them in there until they float off the backing paper. If anything that can actually, if you leave them too long like that, you can actually soak off any adhesive that is on there. Oh pardon me, I do just need a quick swig. 
So, good opportunity to talk about what have I got coming up? Well, I know what I've got coming up now, but I'm not going to be uploading this video for quite a while yet. Um, so, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Sounds silly, I know, but as I'm uploading this at the end of January. It might be February or even March or later before I upload it, so. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of reviews filmed on new kits or uh, just things I've got, um, but they will be up before this video. Yeah, strange. Um, uh, distinct possibility of doing a how I. Now, a painting figures the way I do it coming up at some point as well because I haven't really got a in-depth one I've got my basic how I do figures on you know, so part one of that is actually my most viewed video um, strangely part three has got more views than part two so not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, but yeah, I say I'm looking to just carry on as I have been. Um, obviously if there's anything you guys would like to see a technique I've either brushed past while I've been building something in a build series and would like to see in more detail you know that kind of thing give me a holler and I'll see what I can do there are some things that due to the unique way <laughs> that I film videos I, I sit down press record press stop and then upload um, no editing or anything fancy I'm not Certainly not good enough with computers for that kind of thing. And, uh, yeah. It's just... As I say, some things aren't necessarily suited to being videoed that way. Um, if it's something where each step takes a while to dry, then I'd have to... get a paint mule or a model or whatever and have various steps done to various stages on different parts of it so I could then show you through it all in one fell swoop not that I have a problem with doing that I don't I'll gladly do it if there's stuff people want to know um, but hey Where's the bee go? About there. So what have I been up to outside of sticking stuff together in the cave? So I'm working full time now, which does mean less cave time overall which is why my build speed has dropped quite dramatically <laughs> um, and yes I have just realised I'm taking that right out of shot I'm just repositioning the decal making sure I've got it where I want it Splooge there. So we've got the round will go in. Yeah, um, so as this is the 31st of January at the moment, starting on the 1st of February, there's the uh, I say obviously the um. 
MiG-21 build which I'll be taking part in so that only runs throughout February so that will be done and dusted before this video goes up uh, what else have I got ongoing not really a huge amount else at the moment I will be taking part in the critique groups big ass group build at some point uh, that runs all year so there's no rush to get an entry in for that And I'll be doing the tack on Kraz tank transport with a tank on the back of it. The only problem with that is then finding somewhere to put it. Um, it's a blooming long model. It's, I think it's just over two feet long. So, <laughs> could be interesting. Um, yeah. Fortunately, it's not very wide, so it will fit on like a, a DVD shelf or on a windowsill when the time comes. So, again, I'm just making sure I've got all the Solution, especially on the ones with a lot of carrier film, like the numericals. The others, it's not so much of an issue. As if you get a bubble, you bubble there, bubble, you can soon pop it and it looks straight to me. Probably just my eyes are wonky. And then, uh, yeah, it's just a, uh, yes, so it's a build I won't get bored with, it's just whether I get bored with the whole painting. Yeah. And weathering an entire tank transport or in tank. I'm assuming the tank would be more weathered than the, than the transporter it's on, having been in combat, um, and possibly broken down and in need of repair. So I might do something to that. It's whether I put the actual is it T55 AMV on the back, or whether I go with a T54 or a T64, 62. <laughs> Yeah, as long as he's Russian and around about the right era, I should be able to get away with it. Um, but we shall see, because I think the T55 in that is not the most complex of kits. So I think I might have more fun with the Mini Art T54 in that. But hey, we shall see how we go and what happens when we get there. Now, as we can see with the. Round laws on the wings, they're starting to sink into the details, conform to the surfaces. And we'll let those dry, and and once they're dry, go back over them. Uh, with us. If they need it, we'll go back over them with solver set. They might completely chooch down without any. And it's this point where you got to be careful because it's the temptation to start doing the other side or the nose and then you can't really pick it up from anywhere because if you try and pick it up anywhere the decals are they're either going to just stick to your fingers or your thumb or you're going to tear them move them damage them destroy them so at this point it is probably best to just leave them be I can get the uh, I don't know, we can get the Grey Nurse logo on and maybe the eyes although I, want to, I might want to leave the eyes until I've put the shark mouth on 
which is a four part decal and that could be quite tricky getting that all to line up um, especially if I've got completely rid of the centre seam which I have, well, there's a ghost just about visible in the right light because that comes all the way around and as you can see I've nearly got my fingers on the decal at the moment so it's basically this entire area under the from about there down is just shark mouth so what I'll, as I say, what I'll do is I'll let these dry pop a coat of solver set on them let that dry and come back and do the rest I might do the shark mouth off camera that is purely because I get the sus uh, sneaking suspicion there may be a lot of swearing involved uh, <laughs> and I think we can do without that I try and keep my channel as clean and non sweary as possible I'm sure a couple have probably slipped in here and there but hopefully nothing too offensive anyway I'll leave it for there I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and maybe seen something helpful or picked something up or if not I've just been company for you in your cave for the last nearly half an hour so I'm perfectly happy with that if you just want to stick me on in the background and have me waffling on go for it truth be told there's a couple of channels I watch purely for when I go to bed to fall asleep to they're not modeling ones and you don't know who they are anyway <laughs> enjoy your modeling peace out rock on have fun bye bye